joining me in the seats today. Well, thank you for having me. I guess my first question is because in pop culture, we see Army, we see Navy, we see Marines, but Coast Guard doesn't necessarily get a lot of attention. And I'm kind of curious, what is sort of the mandate of the Coast Guard? Like, what are the qualifications to be a part of the Coast Guard? Because now that I think about it, Canada's got a lot of water to deal with. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, what are the qualifications? Like, what kind of qualifications do you have to have to join the Coast Guard? Well, it depends on what you want to do, obviously. Right. But we have a Coast Guard college in Sydney, Nova Scotia. It's okay. a little jewel there where we take anybody who wants to apply and meets our qualification standards and passes all the application tests. Uh, and they come out of it with a four-year degree from the University of Cape Breton. Oh. And uh, all their marine qualifications to go to sea either as a navigating officer or an engineer. And uh, that's how most people start their career in the Coast Guard. Now, I mean, obviously in a movie like this, we're seeing the high drama, sort of the high drama end of it. What does is, what is the day-to-day -day aspects entail? Uh, it depends on what you do. There's or, a number of different tasks in the Coast Guard. And in a search and rescue station, you actually hope for boring days. <laughs> um, but on average, uh, the Canadian Coast Guard rescues 15 people a day. Wow. And we assist 52 people in distress or in difficulty on the oceans. We run a massive network of marine communications, so it's not that sim dissimilar to the infrastructure that supports the air traffic system. We have a very similar one for the marine traffic system where those people are eyes and ears in water. They know who's in Canadian waters, they know who's leaving Canadian waters, and they are who listen to your mayday when a rescue like this begins. Wow. Uh, and we're talking about six million pleasure craft sailing in Canadian waters every year. So it's a lot of activity. Um, and we have a dedicated group of people who respond to environmental emergencies on the water. Any oil that spills into the water from a ship, we're responsible for cleaning that. Uh. And the navigation system, that means vessels don't go aground and keeps them safe, we're responsible for that as well. Now, I mean, obviously you've probably heard the expression, truth is stranger than fiction, and I, I can imagine, like, what kind of stories or what kind of instances have you sort of witnessed in, in your time in the Coast Guard? Well, you know, there's a story a day. Just last summer, we had some extraordinary rescues. A Russian pilot sitting on an ice floe for three days. Wow. And uh, we have to send an icebreaker to go rescue him. Can't be seen from the sky when uh, D&D, who we work with, obviously, seamlessly on search and rescue, they can't see him because it's too foggy and cloudy. Yeah. Um, our icebreaker, the particular icebreaker, was uh, escorting a commercial vessel into Frobisher Bay, into Iqaluit, to do resupply there, to get the fuel in so right. they can start the summer season. Um, they can't abandon the, re the escort because that vessel will then be damaged in the ice. So they continue with the escort, turn around, get out of the ice as soon as they can, and out of the corner of the eye of a watchkeeper on the bridge, they see a flash, point the ship in that direction, they find this pilot who's been sitting on an ice floe, um, chased by polar bears for three days. That's and crazy. That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> and that's extreme, but there was rescues last summer, again in the Arctic. Two hunters lost, vessel breaks down, um, found by a different icebreaker, and return home to their community. And the entire community is waiting at the shore as we bring him in because a brother, a father, a son, a cousin, a friend, yeah. two of them have been rescued. And in a small community, every single life uh, impacts dozens of others. That's amazing. It is amazing, and it's extraordinarily rewarding work. Uh, our crews and our smaller lifeboat stations tend to be from the communities where they're working. And uh, so not only are they professional and dedicated to their jobs, they're driven by the sense of they know the people they're, they're going out to try and find and rescue. And it's uh, enormously rewarding work. Does a lot of, does, is that... I mean, I guess the word I'm looking for, is that sort of the big reward? Because I can imagine these are small communities where a lot of these ships are being launched. And it really does almost come to almost, I guess, a familial kind of standpoint where it's like, you're not doing a job, you're rescuing a brother or a cousin. Absolutely. If, uh, on the West Coast uh, earlier this fall, there's a 
tragedy with a whale watching vessel that capsized. Yeah. Um, we were a, the First Nations community in Ahousat were the first people on scene, and they started the rescue, and our lifeboat station got underway. And was able to get there so quickly because the officer in charge was from the community. He knew how to get there more quickly because he'd been working in those waters his entire life. And he knew the people who were driving the, who, you know, commanding the whale watching vessel. You're driven by that sense of, I need to save a life. Every life matters. Yeah. But their familiarity with the waters and the communities is enormous. And I guess just to wrap it up, I mean, for someone in the city who may go, oh, the Coast Guard, how do you sell it? How do you say, join the Coast Guard? Well, hopefully a movie like this will do for the Coast Guard what Top Gun did for the Air Force. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're a maritime nation. Right. 90% of the goods that are used by people in central Canada, coffee you drink at, at uh, Starbucks, comes in by sea. Um, keeping those, those uh, waterways safe ensuring the Canadian economy functions, ensuring that our waters are clean yeah. um, for the next generations of Canadians, that's what the Coast Guard does, as well as saving lives every single day of the year. Well, fantastic, and thank you thank for the you time and your service. <laughs>